Hey, Ben Pearson from bensbackwoods.com here. Uh, today we're sharing some short clips from our full length axe video, the safe and efficient camp axe fuse. Uh, this is a hour and 22 minute video on use and safety of camp axes. Uh, if you find this information valuable, there's gonna be a link down below uh, where you can purchase the full length DVD or you can stream it on Vimeo. Uh, this could very well save you from a serious injury or at the very least, save your favorite pair of boots. You know who you are. Enjoy. So here we are uh, limbing some uh, larger trees. Uh, these are larger limbs. And like we said before, we wanna start at the, uh, at the trunk and work your way to the tip. Um, to be safe, you want to either, your, your frontal zone is extends straight out, straight out like uh, in line with your feet, parallel with your feet. And um, you either st stand so your, your swing ends up coming in contact with that wood kind of behind your frontal zone so if it glances off it can't, it can't hit you in the leg. Uh, in this case the main body of this tree is large enough where, where the, the tree itself is going to protect us so I can stand straight like this. This is going to be kind of a kind of a, almost like a golf swing. Uh, you you uh, slide your hand up the top bring the axe head up put your hands together and swing straight down. We're going to try to go right for the base here. We'll see if I can blow through these in a couple chops. Uh, there's a little different technique for thicker stuff. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. So we're gonna, yep, that's just straight through there on that guy. Here's one coming straight up and I'll, for this one I'm gonna bend down and just get out of the way. I just wanna keep, make sure my follow through is back through here in case this thing glances off where it can't get me. And that's nice and easy. Um, now we get to something like this, this is slightly larger. And so if I don't think I'm gonna chop through it in one or two chops, what I'll do is I'll, I'll come about halfway through this limb and, and maybe score it down like this. And now that, that kind of, uh, that thin that limb out so it's gonna be easier to blow through it. So that's a nice clean cut. Uh, same thing with this guy here. If you can get them right at the base, uh, they're a little quicker. This one here, now we're on this side, of the, we're on the same side of the tree, so the tree's not protecting us here. So now I'm gonna limb here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my body sideways like this, and this swing is gonna come across and, and come into contact with that tree about in line with my leg, because by the time that cutting edge is in line with my leg, if it bounces off with the, with the momentum you have, it's going to bounce off behind you, and it, it's not gonna come back and get you. Uh, so I'll stand here and give it a good, uh, give it a good swing like that. And that's safe because it came into contact in line with my leg or behind me. And uh, that makes that, that really safe. Um, having a sharp tool is uh, super important. Uh, some, of these, some of these small things, you can actually use the pole of an ax to kind of tap them off. Here's another one that's uh, right in the way. And it's, a lot of this too, when you're working in a tangled mess like this, you want to make sure, take the time, don't rush, clear some of the stuff out of here. You want to make sure your swing is nice and free and clear. It's not going to get hung up on stuff. Position your body in a way so you will have a safe follow through. Uh, this is a very stable platform right now because it's a heavy dead down tree and uh, we've got a sharp tool. Uh, we're not going to work too fast. We're going to slow down and set our pace here and just slowly work at this thing and, and clear out and you just you just need to be uh be conscious to move your body in a position so so you will not chop yourself on accident with the momentum that that the axe is creating here's another another example of a bigger limb that that we might be able to just kind of blow through like that so that's uh that's that's quick and easy work and just just slow down and make sure uh you're in a safe safe position every every chat that you make.